Hello, in this video I'm going to show off my first and so far only game in the World of Warships April Fool's Day go game mode, which they are calling the Jacuzzi Challenge. And yeah, as you can see, they've actually put a lot of work into this. It's, if you've ever been watching the YouTube training videos that um, Wargaming puts out with the captain and the goldfish, who I forget the name of. It's basically based on the art style used in those videos and set in a bathtub with a whole bunch of rubber bath toys. So that's fun. Also interesting to note, it's got forward firing torpedo arcs. I don't actually use them in this game because I'm just completely and utterly unaccustomed to having forward firing torpedoes and I never put myself in a situation where I could use them. But, other than that, and the sound effects, and the visuals, and yeah, it's basically just regular World of Warships. So you see me here, loading armor piercing, firing off. These are actually 500mm shells, so they are the biggest in the game at the moment, I believe. Yes, I think that's true. But um, they don't do all that much damage. Um, and in this game mode, where um, you don't get any experience or credits directly, but there are a whole bunch of challenges um, set alongside this game mode. And basically, so long as you do 10,000 damage, which comes fairly quickly, you will get 50,000 credits and a whole bunch of flags as well as a, well one premium consumable. Um, what flags and what consumables you get will depend on what ship you choose. I'm in the poker boat. Well, it's either the poke boat or the poker boat. And I tend to go with poker boat because um, it's Japanese, so I tend to think it's a bit like Pokemon. But I'm not sure if that's what they were going for at all, so it might be poke boat. Um, anyway, so doing my 10,000 damage in the poker boat gets me. Um, well, it gives me the smoke generator consumable as well as a bunch of flags. I've completely forgotten which ones. But you can see I've already gotten my first kill. Um, a number of people in ch chat are saying stop shooting, stop killing things. Um, I'm not the only person on to be doing so. Um, basically, I think they just want to ram everybody, which is fun. This is pretty much a fun game mode since you don't get any experience or credits. Well, unless you do 10,000 damage. And as you can see, it's actually a pretty quick match. The damage racks up pretty quickly. Oh, and something else to note about these boats. Um, they've all got the damage repair ability from battleships, and I get 100 charges of it. And I've just used my first one. Only repairs a little bit of damage every time, but still can give these ships a fair bit of longevity, especially since they reload very quickly. Actually, I wonder if it would be possible to just hold down the T key and... Just use them continuously. Anyway, I've actually run aground here. I can't see what toy I've run into, but I've run into one of them. And this enemy ship's clearly coming in for a ram. But I am not really keen on that. And there we go, no ram for you. Unfortunately, I'm still on very low hit points. So I'm using my... Um, Damage repairability to get that back. Unfortunately, I'm still under fire. I have to reverse to dodge my allies' torpedoes. And well, my team's got the advantage here. It looks like a rubber ducky I um, rammed into there. See, so, yeah, my team's got the advantage. Three ships to two. And at the moment, it looks like this enemy ship here, although it's full health, it is isolated. Unfortunately, my two allies are both hanging right back and firing torpedoes, but I'm thinking I don't really care. It's a fun game mode. I'll just come around the corner here and hopefully do some damage. But turns out it wasn't alone. So now I get set on fire. Hopefully I can kill this poker boat before it can kill me. But there don't seem to be any citadels on these ships, so maybe armor piercing's not the best choice, but I do a fair bit of damage before I go. And well, unfortunately it's all a bit downhill from here as the last two re remaining enemy ships kind of overwhelm my team. Basically they stick together while my guys tend to fight it out one on one. But we'll skip the end of this battle and go straight to... Well, I suppose I'll show you the results screen just to show you how much damage I did. So we'll go straight to that. 
So here we have the results screen. As you can see, we lost. We actually won two challenges here, the Heavy Damage and the Poker Boat Jacuzzi Challenge. Being challenges, you can win them again and again and again. Also got 56 shots on target and sunk two enemy ships, which um, what's well, made me top on the team in kills, but well, top equal in experience because we all got zero. 31,000 damage, and you see that was a very quick game. I was only in it for four minutes, and it was more than enough time to complete the 10,000 challenge. And as you see there, 70,000 credits from that game. Um, so it's actually a not a decent way of earning credits, but a nice little solid fun way. And as I said, Wargames obviously put a lot of work into this. It's a um, just a lot of work into all the skinning and uh, just yeah, it is just a reskin of the game, but they put a lot of effort into it. And here you can look at the challenges. Uh, one for basically each of the four ships. There's one ship from every nation, and that's the one I got: the Smoke Generator, India Delta, Juliet Charlie, November Echo, Settle Seven. Um, neither of which don't particularly want any of those flags, but it's a decent way of earning flags. And you see there are a few decent ones in there. There's um, Sierra Mike, I believe, from the American uh, boat, which I've completely forgotten the name of. And I know lots of people like Sierra Mike. So, yeah, if you're after some flags or premium consumables, or you just want to have fun in a reskinned version of um, World of Warships, this is the game mode for you, and it's running for two weeks, and there's the captain on the bow of my ship there. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll hope you'll have fun in this game mode while it lasts, and I'll see you all next time.